And that's it. All done. So this is the easiest way to try and figure out match up here. So to do that, the piece that falls off this cut here, I saved all these pieces. So anytime you got a diagonal, that's what you need to do. You need to make Okay, so I got a tub area to do here, and it's going to be a herringbone pattern. So the herringbone is going to go from this corner over to here, and then it's going to go over to here. So important important things to to know about when you're doing a, uh, a herringbone. So you want this corner to follow around. You want that grout line to match as you go around the corner. You're basically gonna fold that corner. So to make that happen, this wall, this corner has to be perfectly plumb. Because if it's not plumb, it's gonna, it, it's gonna run off. You're either gonna gain or you're gonna lose on the grout line. On the tub here, I got lucky. I checked this tub, it is level. So it's gonna be easy enough for me to cut these tiles. But you wanna make sure that you level when you're uh, cutting your tile in. Um, otherwise, you're gonna run off in the corner. So I wanna have a decent piece in this corner. I wanna have a decent piece here. I wanna have a decent piece here. And I wanna have a decent piece here. So how did I figure out what my layout's gonna be? You need to do some dry laying. So what I did in here was I dry laid some tile. This is the width of my tub, and this is the height of my tub. Okay, to figure out my layout, so I went wider than the tub. Then I found the middle. So the middle is actually right here. It's not on a corner. It's like in, in the middle of the short line. And I measured from the corner, the long, the, the tall corner, to the outside edge of where the other side of the knee wall is going to be, and then I found the middle, and I got lucky and found that if I start from the middle, I'm going to get a decent piece on that corner and a piece that drops off I can use to to wrap the corner and <clears throat> and continue that route line around. Uh, on the other side, I don't need to wrap the corner because it's just going to be a schluter middle. It's just going to end like this. And inside the knee wall, I also get a very good piece to wrap around that short wall. On the tub deck, this is what you're going to get. Um, this is this tile going across here represents my tub deck, and these are the pieces that I'm going to get going across the bottom of the tub. So. This is the easiest way to try and figure out what um, what piece you're going to get for in, in the corners. Now, on the other, uh, to, to figure out that other wall, the wall that you know, this is this is my tub wall, and then you come around and you got that shorter wall. You're going to measure what your drop off is. You're going to find that spot with that what that corresponds to further in the tile, and you're going to measure from where that piece would be, that cutoff would be. So imagine that's the line there. You find that corresponding line over here. And then you measure from that cutoff across how far your wall's gonna be. And that's how you figure out what piece you're gonna have on that wall. So I actually did that over here. This, I don't know if you can see that line, that line there. Then I measured off my wall. And this is gonna be my piece that ends up on on the end of that wall. So I hope that helps and uh, I'm gonna start cutting some of these tiles so I can start setting them and we'll see what we get.
Okay, so cut all this cut here, and I cut. This is for the tub. I'm not going to go any further than that for now. But this is just going to get me started. So these are all the pieces that go in that that wall, that corner. These are the the drop-offs. So now. And I made these things to help me out and you'll see what these are in a minute okay so you see me putting these little pieces of foam in the corner there and so this is them um, here right it's just a piece of curdy board that I ripped down to the thickness of the tile so it's the same thickness all the way around. it's just like a, a uh, a square right so it's all thick as the tile all the way around so it doesn't matter which way I put it in and the reason you do that is because when you go in the corner you want to have see I, I still got room for for a cork here and the corners match up here so to do that the piece that falls off this cut here I saved all these pieces as I showed you before so that I could fold this corner and the reason why you put that corner in there is because you need the grout line to match like that. This is a piece, this here, it's a piece that came off this tile here. So you need that to match the corner to match. So you get the grout lines to match so that as if that was the straight. So what happens if you, so that's why this, this, um, line has to be perfectly plumb on both sides so what happens if you if you're not plumb then the line will start to gain the line will start to gain up or down and if you don't put that exactly on the edge of the tile and you run it behind what happens is you get the, the lines don't match up anymore so this see how this lines up perfectly like that if you move this across a little bit and you cover the cut now the lines don't match up anymore so you need to have that exactly like that so that, those foam pieces help just keep you um, in the right spot so you don't so when you got the thin set it doesn't um, doesn't slide into into that corner by mistake and then you can keep your little gap with with some wedges like like I got up there <clears throat> so these you can make these little pieces out of foam if you don't have the foam you can use just a piece of tile and just rip, rip down a piece of tile to do it that way so anytime you got a diagonal that's what you need to do you need to make make it so that the corners line up exactly on the edges of the cut and that they don't overlap. If they overlap, and then the, uh, your grout lines are gonna, gonna run off. So, um, hope that helps. So when you're working with tile, there's some very important things that you need to make sure that you have. You need to have a flat surface. So prep the surface uh, as you need it to be before you start tiling. Some uh, tile patterns and installations and sizes of tile, the flatness of the surface is gonna be more critical than on other tiles. Herringbone pattern is one of those cases where you need to be absolutely flat and your tile installation has to be perfectly level, plumb, square, and straight. Those pieces in the corners are gonna help you stay straight with your corner. Those little pieces that I'm putting in here. You wanna make sure as you're going along with your a pattern of herringbone that you you keep your grout lines absolutely perfect and that you stay absolutely plumb. A laser level is going to really help with this to keep you going in the right direction and not to run off. I'm going to set up my laser so it touches all the corners 
of a row of tile so that I know that I am perfectly plumb. And I'm going to be very careful with my tile as I put them in place to keep the grout lines very even. Now some tiles, these tiles are actually quite difficult to work with because they're not flat and they're not all exactly the same size. So a little bit of variation in the grout line is going to happen. You just can't help it because the tile is not perfect. So there's my laser line touching all those, those corners to be sure that I am perfectly plumb and that I am not running off. Okay, so leave your comments in the comment section. I do try to answer as many uh, questions and comments as I can. Can't always get to them all, but I do try. Also, uh, check the description. There's a lot of uh, useful links there to some tools in my Amazon store and other useful links that uh, you might find helpful. Also, don't forget to ring the notification bell and subscribe and like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks a lot. Okay, so I got this wall done over here. And um, in the in the niche here, you can see that the pattern, I don't know if you can see it, um, good, but it looks like it follows, follows through. Like this piece here, looks like it goes all the way through. That's the corner cut out for there. That piece looks like it goes all the way through. That's a follow through. The pieces on the bottom and the sides are just gonna be full pieces. And uh, and I got this, I got a good piece straight up and down here. And I got the, the drop off from there and I got the pieces cut for here. So these pieces are actually gonna go like this. So it goes like that. So the pattern follows through like this. So this is like a full tile that just bends around there. I, you know, I have to add a grout line here, etc. That's why that corner there isn't matching exactly because I got to add some some spaces for the grout lines. And I'm going to do the same thing on this wall here, so that when you when you see the tile, it looks like the pattern just falls around the corner. So I'm going to do this corner first, this little wall first, and then I'm going to move over to this wall here. Okay, so I got that wall done. See how the tile follows around. Looks like the corner is folded. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing on this wall here. Only <laughs> a lot more tile. Okay, so as I said, this side is done. And I started on this side and all the corners match. And I got my Schluter metal in place and all these pieces here they're all they're all gonna be the same coming down down here so I'm gonna make some more thin set and then I'm gonna finish this up and keep on going up high okay so that's it all done
finish this turn. And the only thing left is this area here. And I'm going to do that after I do the floor. That's also going to be on a herringbone. But otherwise than that, that is the tub area. Spectralock one. Okay, so uh, the, all that's left is to grout and silicone in the corners. And I'm grouting here with Spectralock 1. Grouting with uh, this type of grout is not the same as grouting with a regular grout. So I'll link to a video on how to use Spectralock 1 in the, um, in the cards or the end screens so that you can uh, uh, see how, how it's done. Uh, it's not the same as doing regular grout. Uh, with the spectral lock one you only grout a small section at a time and then immediately wash it anyway i'll link to that video 100 percent silicone Okay, so this is the final product.